I began working with the Commonwealth Attorney's Office in 2009 when Ray Larson, our previous Commonwealth Attorney, named me the Director of Victim Services. It was a funny path to get here because I went from the world of finance into the field of social work. Um, and in getting my bachelor's and master's degree, I came to this office to intern. I was lucky enough to intern for Louanna Redcorn, who is now our Commonwealth Attorney. Luanna was such a gift to me because she taught me that every voice matters and good ideas are good ideas no matter where they come from. So being new to the field of victim services, it was a gift to realize, get that confidence boost of, of knowing that I mattered even while I learned a lot about the ins and outs of this system. After uh, my internship here, I kind of haunted the office until they finally hired me. Um, and I've worked here ever since. As a victim advocate, we do a lot to try and facilitate the best connection that we can between our office and the victims of violent crime. We offer referrals, information, explanations, and you know, really we also just provide support. We're there with victims when they have to go to court. We meet with families after a murder or some other horrible thing has happened. Sometimes the path through the criminal justice system is really difficult for victims and there's so much about it that we can't change. But we can stand by their side and offer any kind of support that we can to try and make their path a little bit easier. I learned about um, helping people when I was a small child. My father was a preacher and my mother a librarian who drove the bookmobile and helped um, young children learn how to read. Um, it was fun. It was so much fun. And uh, with my father being a preacher, we would always take flyers around neighborhoods inviting people to come to church. So I kind of got that gene, that helping gene from my parents. Um, just always wanting to help someone in need and always making sure that they have what they needed. Um, even if I couldn't help them personally, just making sure that I knew someone that they could go to or somewhere they could go to to receive help. Um, so that is how I kind of got started in the helping business was from childhood on. Growing up as a kid, I used to watch my father prepare for trial every evening. His passion to help victims of crime was so great that it led me to follow in his footsteps. Besides having a strong family connection to the field, I am also a genocide survivor from Kosovo. In 1999, my family and I were forced to leave our homes and move to a refugee camp. When I moved to the United States, I met my former boss, Mr. Larson, and he offered me an opportunity to do an internship with the office. During that time, I was observing very closely the job that victims advocates were doing. I could see myself as an advocate. I could see myself helping victims because I have been one and did overcome it. To be honest, I'm blessed to work in a field where every single day I get to see people with more resilience than I probably ever have imagined that I have. People face things that scare all of us to even think about. And they don't, crime victims don't only face those things, but they do survive them. They move on. Um, they have full, wonderful lives. They, they reach um, goals they never thought they could while they were suffering at the very worst moment. And I get to see those miracles every day in this job. So yes, sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes the juggle is such a struggle. Sometimes it just doesn't feel like there's enough hour in the day to give each crime victim the kind of help I want to offer. But working with a team, the wonderful team of victim advocates I'm proud to be a part of here, and really the entire office, the prosecutors that care so much about our crime victims, about the law, and about even the defendant's rights and protecting those rights as well, really brings the kind of balance that I hope only grows as I work in this field and strive every day for more justice for crime victims. In, let's see, 2002, I was testifying in a family court hearing for one of my uh, campies for lack of a better term and father was seeking full custody of his children 
And so once I was finished testifying, I ran into Ray Larson, um, who told me about the Crime Victims Advocate position. I've never heard of it because I've never had any contact with the criminal justice system whatsoever, but I found it intriguing. At, at first I was like, no, thank you, I just accepted another job. Um, but after about a month, I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe I should check into that. So I did call, and about a month after that, that's all she wrote. I've been a crime victim's advocate ever since. Um, working with victims of crime, it's very rewarding. Um, you hate to see the trauma and the uh, terrible things that they go through just for you to work with them. Um, no one ever wants to see anyone experience the awful things they do. But. Um, I've learned from them just to, to make sure that uh, they're taken care of, whether it be for safety reasons or for resources where they may need um, a connection for counseling or food or just um, personal hygiene products. Uh, so it's always very important to know the people outside of the criminal justice realm so that you can serve your victims well. Um, when I look around and I'm like, you know what, I really don't have anything to complain about. Um, because when you look at victims and what they've experienced, a lot of them have taught me how uh, to be resilient. Um, yeah, so this happened to me, but look at what I'm doing with that. I'm taking my trauma, I'm taking my bad experience, and I'm turning it into something positive. So I really, really, really enjoy working with victims of crime and just helping people in general, and I hope to continue to do so. I currently help victims of crime with financial losses, answer questions about court system, keep them up to date with their case, and just being there available when they need someone to talk about the struggle they go through. And that's what makes this job so rewarding. I am blessed to have the opportunity to serve this community and the country that once saved my life.